Piping of the Dead. Overkill. Hey there, pantsless peeps. Uh, this is uh, Aaron from uh, with another Let's Play Pantsless. This time of the Typing of the Dead Overkill. Uh, this is a fantastically ridiculous and awesome game uh, that I'm going to show you in just a moment. Uh, I ordinarily like to do these uh, with someone else. Um, it's just more fun and tends to be funnier to have someone to bounce off of. But here's the thing. Western New York is fucking frozen. <laughs> I'm serious, like the wind chill is ridiculous uh, where I live. So I don't feel right asking anybody to venture out into that to come over and play a video game with me and make with the funny. So I'm going to do my best on my own as I can as I show you the ridiculousness of this typing tutor. <laughs> I, I don't know what to call it, a typing simulator? I, I don't even know. I don't even know. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty much the game. Uh, a word comes up, and I have to type it out as quickly as I can. Slow motion. Uh, sorry, it's a little hard to talk while I'm trying to concentrate on typing. Maybe I should have gone with easy mode for this. Oh. This is a fantastically silly game. I mean, uh, the original House of the De uh, Typing of the Dead was a lot of fun. Um, and it, it did not shy away from uh, the ridiculousness of its premise. I mean, you, you were taking down zombies with a keyboard, and the main characters actually carried keyboards, you know. So, but in this game they don't. They they carry guns. Oh dear! Entire freezes. Uh, and there you can see what happens when uh, when you miss a letter. Go away! Go away! Super donkey ball! I love how the words mean nothing and. Serve no purpose. Oh, jeez. Be careful, dude. You're gonna get it all over your pants. Yay! Sid be rescued. Go on with your bad self. Yeah, you're welcome. Always happy to help, madam. I am a god among secretaries, and this is what I was born to do. That observation brought to you by Isaac motherfucking Washington. Oh, dear. That's a lot of zombies. Uh, so let's just walk in here <laughs> and leave the door open because that makes sense. And again, I'm still typing. I'm still typing out the spaces, even though I don't need to do Who that. these guys table Did we just walk past a couple of zombies? I never seen this kind of crazy shit before. All right, so what's the game plan? We're just gonna you walk around, and they're the not subject, gonna give a shit. And I'll lead an interrogation. Fuck that, Columbo! Oh shit! Barla is not fucking around. <laughs> Damn. She comes by her name, honestly. She really does. Oh no. My baby's been wheeled away by another woman? What the no, fuck? Girl. Jasper's taking that great stair lift in the sky. What? That can't be. His only went up one floor. <laughs> oh, that silly Billy. I always told him to carry a spare. What? He's the fucking dead. What the fuck? No! <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. My humps, my humps, my lovely lady lumps. I'm a good singer. <laughs> Bitch, I'm fabulous. I probably did that wrong. I see the service here hasn't improved. <laughs> Okay, that's the first, uh, that's the first line I actually liked. For ingenuity's sake, rather than cheesiness. Right. Which one of you bitches has my fucking keys? <laughs> oh, God. Damn it, Cindy. Have you lost weight? <laughs> Where's your little fuck buddy? <laughs> Hey, 
I'm in Tiza. Yeah, no, she's not comely at all. Not at all. <laughs> I have never seen two words more out of place. Oh, almost got gotcha. you. Come on, what you got? Oh, down you go! You bitches never could dance. And fall. Help me! Ah, crap. <laughs> Whoops. I that was a live one. Yay! <clears throat> I love money! <laughs> My zombie cheerleaders. <laughs> They're like, yay! Zombie cheerleaders, yay! Go, buddy! Ugh, almost, almost, come on! No, 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 fuck you and your... Ah, uh, it's too bad those can't... Down you go, asshole. But you know, I plan to eventually get and uh, and use all of these guns. Uh, that is what I am going to fucking do. These two women are sword fighting. Why? I don't know, but it's so sexy. If you want them to continue the sexy sword fighting, you have to buy the shirts at the pantsless shop. And they'll continue sword fighting. Because it's sexy. Yeah.